Welcome to the Bond Analysis, ladies and gentlemen. Since Ryan Odinga presented his bid for the chairperson of East of African Union Commission, political debate has actually emerged in this country. And one of the narratives that emerged was that Uhuru Kenyatta was also considering his bid for that position. But looking at his speeches in, uh, over the weekend, it's on Sunday, it is on Saturday, it's very clear that Uhuru was never interested. Today, there is a critical meeting that Uhuru Kenyatta has held with Tanzanian President Samia Suluhu. I want to, us to look at the details of that meeting politically as Rail Odinga's bid actually gathers momentum. Kindly subscribe to our channel. But before that, there is our February project, that part of our February project I want us to finish. This lady here is known as Mary Wanjiru. She's stuck in Mamalusi Hospital. I was supposed to be, she, she was supposed to have been also discharged by the other 13 that I discharged, but we didn't manage. Like, I think people who are coming for the first time, there's some others that were stranded in Mamalusi Hospital, so we discharged others and she remained because of two reasons. Number one, the child was still in nursery. So the child, she could not be discharged and leave the child. And the bill also uh, went huge. And as we speak, is actually around 74000 So we spoke and she really reached out and telling me that Kevin, come back with toy. So as we speak, um, Wanjiri is still stuck there. She's yet to be discharged. Now already, Aishi Pekeake and the kids, just um, two, ki two kids who are at home now without their mother. I picked up this and I promised her that immediately she will be due for discharge. I will come back and do. And so I want us to finish the February project. She's actually part of that February project. Send me anything you can get. I promise come on Friday, asubui, nitaenda na nimtoe. As I talk, since I did the first video, video I think I have around 4,000. So I'm really short around 70,000. I'm reaching out to you. Let's participate in that 100 bomb challenge. Ili Toto Wanjiru on Friday. Kindly. Let's try. I think this will be better. Because we will to Maliza that our February project. So kindly, let's share and also make sure Kwamba to Memtoa Wanjiru. Now, this is the first meeting. Uhuru Kenyatta arrived in Tanzania yesterday, and this is what was shared. His Excellency, President Retired Uhuru Kenyatta, attends the first international collo colloquium and promoting cross-cultural linguistics and economic diplomacy for sustainable futures in Dar es Salaam, Tanzania. The event is jointly organized by African Institute in Indigenous Knowledge Systems. And this is the photo that was shared. And this is the high-profile meeting that was convened actually in um, that was convened in um, in Tanzania. Now these are some of the photos that were shared there, and Uhuru Kenyatta was part of the panelists. So this event happened yesterday, and uh, that was yesterday on twentieth. Now today, uh, the office of the former the fourth president has shared yet another post today with this post that Uhuru Kenyatta met Samia Suluhu. President Uhuru Kenyatta paid a courtesy call on Her Excellency Sohuru Ndialienda. Samia Suluhu, President of the Republic of Tanzania at State House Zanzibar, the former president had earlier attended the first or a blah blah. So, this meeting has been reported. They have not said maybe a partnership on something on East Africa. No. Whatever they discuss in this meeting, if you look at what the president's team have posted, they're not showing any hint or rather as part of Nairobi peace process. No. I don't even think that is it. So the photos have been shared. You could see the president sitting there with the Tanzanian president. This meeting is politically important because there is a context. I just analyzed to you that Jakaya Kikwete was being pushed 
from some corridors to join the race. Remember that East Africa is supposed to present one candidate for the African Union Chairperson a Commission, or Commission, or African Union Commission Chairperson. And not that the rule is that they have to give one. It is their turn. So if they give two candidates, they will divide the votes and they might miss it or something. But I presented to you from a very reliable source that Jakai Kikwete was being floated. And then some other corridors were actually reporting that the plan why candidates from Tanzania and Uganda are being floated is to create all this to bring, uh, to bring many on board so that there will be a compromised candidate. In fact, Alai was saying that the status team in Nairobi were pushing behind the scene for more other candidates to join the race so that there will be a need for a compromised candidate in East Africa and that compromised candidate would then be maybe uh, um, 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 uh, 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 someone apart from Raila, maybe on Kenya Kwanza side. And there is really, there is something you need to take because the presence of Uhuru Kenyatta coming just around this is very important because he has the experience of lobbying. He really, really by the way, Uhuru Kenyatta really lobbied for Amina Muhammad when Amina, when Amina Muhammad was his cabinet member. And he really lobbied and Amina Muhammad vied in 2017 but lost to the outgoing chairperson uh, Mustafaki. So you cannot underestimate the influence of Uhuru Kenyatta in the region. This meeting, I foresaw two probabilities on table. Two messages that Uhuru Kenyatta is, is sending. Number one, Uhuru Kenyatta is asking Samia Suluhu to drop Kekwete. Because, let me see, if Uhuru was pushing Kekwete behind the scene, do you think he would go and meet Samia Suluhu? If he has to push, if he's working against Raila, you know, I've listened to that and I'm like, that's so petty. <laughs> you know, Jeremiah Kuni has said clearly that Uhuru Kenyatta is supporting Raila. Well, honestly, why would Uhuru Kenyatta have a problem with Raila getting it? You know, I'm just trying to look at it. Now, if he wanted it, if Uhuru Kenyatta wanted that seat, Hange Ongelesha, Hange Bash William Ruto in Central on Saturday, you would have done that. And again, Uru as president, what would you think? What do you think would be that bad venom against Raila that would make him feel so bad that Raila is vying for that position? So I looked for it and I was like, oh, that was that was that was really out of thought. Now, Uhuru is simply asking Suluhu to drop Kikwete. Number two, I think Uhuru Kenyatta is pushing, is rallying behind East African community to settle on one candidate. I'm seeing two messages. Number one. Drop Kikwete if you can. Number two, there is a need for the East African community to present one candidate. And if that candidate is Raila or Kikwete, I think that is the message that I am seeing from Uhuru Mugai Kenyatta. Now, where do you think his presence in these campaigns is very important? You cannot underestimate Uhuru Kenyatta's presence in these campaigns. It is very true. For, not that, not that Raila can't campaign, but Uhuru was immediate former president that was a president for the last 10 years. Now, that committee that endorsed Raila of eminent persons, uh, Basanjo, he's part of it. Now, Uhuru Kenyatta has a very close relationship with Samia Soluhu. And I remember at some point when there was a need for a mediation between Uhuru and between Ruto and Raila, Samia Soluhu came into the country and the meeting that never happened, that meeting had the blessing of former president Uhuru Kenyatta. So the input of Uhuru Kenyatta is very important. And that is why this meeting is actually politically significant. Now many people have been asking, I have been seeing Kenya Kwanza taking very pedestrian thoughts that we rally behind Raila, our MPs, our MCAs. And I asked a simple question. Is there an MP or an MC in UDA who knows any president in Africa? Who can put a call and organize a meeting with any president in Africa? Absolutely none. There is absolutely none. Remember, Raila's candidature is also coming at a time when the last time Kenya presented a candidature, Amina Mohamed. 
East Africa. This time round, Kenya is also presenting a candidature of Raila Odinga. Now, there is a lot of diplomatic talk that has to happen behind the scene just to create the ground, even though Raila Odinga's profile is very strong for itself. Now, I am seeing some four reasons why Uhuru Kenyatta is a very critical person in this contest. Very critical for, three, for, for these three or four reasons. Number one, Ruto lacks the East African Region Command. We've said that. And not even the East Africa, even the Africa. If you realize, Kenya Kwanzaa has been sending the Deputy President in most African. Ruto has, when there was an inauguration in Nigeria, he sent Mdavadi. There was another event in Botswana, he, he sent Regadi. He sent Regadi. Namibia, he sent Regadi. I think he's going, Angola is sent together. I think he's going to Namibia for the first time as a president. And that's why the burial of Kiptum has been pushed to Friday, even though it was supposed to be on Saturday. So, there is a clear point that Ruto lacks the command in Africa. All things don't seem to be working. And the way he's been trying to throw his weight behind some other activities that has been going on. Number two, Ruto's dalliance with Africa is a big divisible factor that you cannot underestimate. Let me just take a very good example. There was a Russia-Africa summit. African presidents attended, not even represented by the Trakia. And William Ruto, because he's close to Biden, America, he didn't go. Well, the other African presidents went. In fact, let me tell you, this, East, this African Union Commission chairperson, that post is critically important even for the other foreign powers that want to get, uh, pursue their agenda in Africa. That is the body. So, if they know very well that Ruto is a U.S. person. Now, look at South Africa. South Africa is a Russia side. Look at the West African countries, the Sahel countries. Sahel countries are having a soft spot for Russia. So those, um, the, the Ruto's American Gdalians is very important, is, is, very, is a divisive factor. And that's why if you get a neutral person like Uhuru Kenyatta to push the Kenyan candidate, I think it cuts across. And that is why you need the intervention of Uhuru Kenyatta. Number three. You need the campaign network and mobilization. I know Kenya Kwanzaa have spoken the way they are going to use resources and Molobi resources to campaign for Ailodinga, which is just part of, just a poetic talk. The truth of the matter here is that Ailodinga will have to use resources to fly to other African countries and put up his team that will also fly to other African countries and talking to other presidents to listen to his candidature. That is you need to have a man who will have calls, personal calls to presidents. Who will have those calls? Who will really have those calls? And that is a big place. But that is something you cannot really underestimate. And I think um, Raila, William, Uhuru Kenyatta can sell Raila. I, I still don't buy it. I don't understand how Rigadi Gashago and William Ruto Will, is going on rallies, political rallies, and calling Raila na names, and then the next day they're meeting African presidents to campaign for Raila. It's a lie. It's a lie that does not really, you don't even need to confirm. It's a lie. So that is why Uru Kenyatta comes through a clean heart. Ruto doesn't do it and doesn't come up to do it in a clean heart. I'm not seeing him really in the picture. So ladies and gentlemen, that is my bit of it. You can also not underestimate the president, the fact that Uhuru Kenyatta is also an entrepreneur. He can also meet Samia Suluhu on um, deals and uh, interest, other commercial interests that are at place, just like the same way that he's having commercial interest in uh, Tanzania, in Uganda. I think he might also be expanding his wings to Tanzania. That's my take. Let's meet in the next. Thank you.